I know all of y'all never go hungry, and if you are hungry, you can go to the refrigerator and open this food. Just think if you went to the refrigerator and there wasn't any food. Over there, so. You get food once or twice a month, depending on what your need is, and it's um, three months or six months. Uh, if you're a senior citizen, we do one year, then you have to be reevaluated. But everything comes through the store here. The bread, which is from the local stores, um, produce, vegetables, uh, meat, and we'll, we, it goes back here in the sorting room. They'll process it all, and then we bring it out and we'll pre-bag most of it for the customer so we can, we can do it quickly. Um, there's some stats, some stats that you'll have on your papers, but right now the food pantry is seeing about 720 families a month. Um, social services runs about 520, I think it was, a month. And um, the crisis center up, upstairs sees about 150 people a, a month. Um, so it's some large numbers for Katie. You wouldn't think that there's a necessity. Um, social services, there's 520, 518, I think, a month clients. So that they're seeing. So they're they're qualifying them for for food. They're qualifying for social for uh, financial assistance. I.e., your water's get about to shut off. Electricity's about to be shut off. So they bring in their disconnect notice. If we can help them, and it depends on our funding at the time, we'll help assist with keeping the electricity on or helping to pay a mortgage or rent so they're not evicted. And then we've got a couple of volunteers like Scott, and they'll they'll pick it up. Sam. Yeah, Sam. Hi. <laughs> I'm Laura. Right. Sam. We're the Tuesday crew. So they check dates. They check dents in the cans to make sure they're still they're still good and then they go in the boxes and then they'll put them in flats like this and then we'll send them out to be used and put in bags. Um, about how many people volunteer with you? Ooh, usually every day I come in there's three or four and they come in the way it's divided is some will come in the morning and some will come after lunch. So. Would you say that's enough help? Or? There's never enough help. <laughs> Okay, um, so if you want to come in sometime and help us, I'll be there. Uh, uh, do you do deliveries? I don't. You don't? No, I don't. The only transportation we provide is to pick up food, but we don't deliver food to people. Um, what made you come and start helping? Out? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, first of all, if you volunteer, you have to believe in the mission. Of the organization, Great. why it's here, well, what the purpose is. We'll make a volunteer is. next time. And I just, uh, I believe in what they're doing. You got hours, right? You got your SOS hours? And, uh, you know, nobody should go hungry. I've only got my Okay. So, well, I know all of y'all never go hungry. And if you are hungry, you can go to the refrigerator and open the food there. Just think if you went to the refrigerator and there wasn't any food. Over there, so, that's what we do here, is try to help. So there's nine hours. Yeah. What's one of your favorite things about volunteering? Uh -huh. Seeing the kiddos. Uh, a lot of times people will bring their kids in there. And, you know, you offer them a piece of candy or something, and you can see their eyes light up. And you know that they don't always get that. So that's, uh, that means a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck with nothing that is thrown in the dumpster. If it, if the food's not any good, if it's expired, if it's spoiled, it goes in the bin. We've got a lady that once a week comes and picks up these bins and they go out to the local farms and the, the hogs are fed. So, and they eat it all. They would eat, I mean, it's, it's amazing. We've got a couple of food drives a year and I, I forgot to mention that. We've got the Super Bowl party. At Super Bowl there's a big food drive. And there's another food drive that the post office does. And that's what those are containers for. Those are brought in with food in them. When they come in, when they come in this year or uh, next year, 
they'll take all of the ones we have here and they'll give me ones that are full of food. So we just swap them out. Um, we are very low on donations right now. The interesting thing about KCM is having food on hand to provide for all the clients. The most significant accomplishment is the KCM Garden. They are the only food pantry in Houston and surrounding area with a garden providing fresh vegetables. They received second place this year from the City of Katy for beautification. The spring garden includes strawberries, watermelon, cantaloupe, tomatoes, green beans, herbs, peppers, okra, and sweet potatoes. The fall garden includes tomatoes, herbs, potatoes, turnips, broccoli, and cauliflower. Daily care of the garden consists of watering through the sprinkling system daily, weeding of the beds weekly, and pest control is an ongoing fight. KCM is always looking for an opportunity to reach out to their clients. For example, they surprised a woman with a birthday cake, which was her first celebration in all of her 30 years. One month, KCM received a letter from a boy who thanked them for receiving his very own toothbrush for the first time in his life. Every other month, clients receive personal necessities, which include toothpaste, brushes, shampoo, body wash, conditioner. However, they don't receive deodorant because that's a luxury. Here's an example of how low KCM is on donations. Eat a 90 milks a day. The, 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 well, the federal government says every tray of food is at the school has to have a milk and has to have a juice, whether y'all use it or not. So the volunteer captures that before y'all throw it away. It's ice put on ice and it's brought over here and we give it back out. And some of our senior citizens um, that have been with us do this love the milk. It is a big staple for them. And it's kind of funny. The summertime comes and they forget about it. And they keep asking, where's the milk? Where's the milk? And I'm like, well, you got to wait for school to start again, and then we'll have it. Yeah. And now that it's back again, they're, they're, they're loving it. Is that a fairly new program? It's been out a couple of years, I think. In fact, I think it was started with seven legs. Seven legs. Here's, hold on a second. Gingerbread Kids is a Christmas toy drive for children in the community. Gingerbread Kids is also for our senior citizens in the community. They average about 10 people a day volunteering in at least two hour blocks all through the day. Even with this dedicated group of volunteers, there is always a need for more. Food donations are picked up daily in the morning by volunteers from Target, Kroger, Randall's, Whole Foods, HEB, Great Harvest Bread Company, and more. They cover the following zip codes, 77449, 77450, 77464, 77476, and more. These zip codes cover Harris, Waller, and Fort Bend County. It's so important to make someone happy. Make just one someone happy. Make just one heart to heart you. You sing to one smile that cheers you. One face that lights when it nears you. One girl, you're, you're everything.